you're present. Yeah, man. Like that's you, how have, we you sit. watch that's, and take that's it West, from West you. West Coast, West Coast lingo, dude. That's what. Okay, I'm lear I'm West Coast, and I didn't know that, so I. I just it. Yeah. <laughs> it really works though. If you really like spin it that way. <laughs> you are the one who is being messed with, actually. Yeah. See. No. Anyway. <laughs> K nine. Just getting uh, Tater in the bad spot off the stage. I mean, on oh, the he, ledge he there. He had yeah. him in a bad spot, and then Tater kind of came back on the stage, gave him the one-two jab, and then put this man right back off. But I feel like the battle here beginning with the ledge, because that's where it's been sticking out so far. Oh, yeah, definitely. When K9 uh, can get Tater trapped at a ledge, uh, it's, the games have gone way more in his favor. Ooh. That's really the difference with a lot of these games. Good empty games. hops. Okay, gets it. Stays in clown car, which Tate and I did not expect. And he's able to convert off that. Oh, the gets jab. the weak. Mm, the weak hit of the jab too, and that's why Kenai fell off. Oh, he got the weak hit of the uh, the fair, and that connected him to jab. And then he got the weak hit of jab. <laughs> Good up smash. I would have loved to have seen a back throw, just to put Tater off the stage. Honestly, that would have been the better pick. I was actually still good. Like, okay, get off me option. He's right in front of me, right? But it's really hard to predict the actual hitbox of what scoops me up. But at that point, having more stage control against Bowser Jr. will be much better than trying to predict where Bowser Jr. might land. Yeah, I think maybe he was hoping it would have killed or something. Yeah. Oh, it'll kill that one, though, yeah. It's just so silly how doing the splits, like, forces them into the... Scissor kick that he does. Yeah. yeah. Some of these moves in this game are so goofy. I love it. Anyway, the the giant, as we talk about Goofy, the giant boxing gloves coming out from uh, the, the clown car. This character is all sorts of uh, goofy. Uh, you know what? No, it's it's those hitboxes. You have to like really respect Bowser Jr. Like, Nair. a lot of Bowser Juniors have lasting hitboxes, so you have to really respect how like Bowser Jr. goes for Nair, there. Uh, and then up air, like traditionally up air is pretty quick. Well, they, the fair at least has a landing hitbox, so it's, uh, it's safe on field. Yeah. Areas. Okay, gets the clown car, and that will kill. Alright. Good, I'm smashing to just scoop you up. Just like wolves. Yeah, good back air. Solves the space, and back air is a little bit disjointed too. That's a really big damage, but the 60% uh, combo has is like at zero, right? Mm -hmm. And then Rage influences him as well. Yeah. Agree, so. Oh, he barely got away by going for Nair. Tanner looking to sit back a little bit on the seat here. Yeah, he can afford to just play, play comfortably here. He's got a big lead here, and uh, it's extending. Oh, oh no! And it's all. I think he got too comfortable with that up smash. I I will, I will definitely admit that for K9, he's been getting a little bit too comfortable going for that. What the heck? Yeah, I mean when you have awesome moves like that, it's it's really hard not to spam them. Why doesn't this? Wait, what? what? It's his chair. This chair is too low for me, and it's like. It's Jeez. just stuck here. Jeez, Vance, why are you being so unprofessional right now? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, this chair is actually too low. Being do, tall. Do you want to switch? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's good. I'm, I'll just be on this chair, I guess. <laughs> and drink this really. I'm not an IPA, but I taste like an IPA beer. Ugh. What? <laughs> What's the deal with the. with that? It just tastes like an IPA. It has. It has the I, the IPA like afterburn. I, I I know I'm sorry man, this is really bad. <laughs> That's how bad it's bugging me. Like I just told you like I know my IPAs, I know that for a fact and it tastes like one. Alright, look. WNF is the actually only place where you'll see bands really go on like off topic commentary. MSM I just can't do it, but here it's just I don't know what it is. <laughs> Dash attack and he puts this man up the stage I think with I almost sus as DI. I'm, I, I bet if we if we went to MSM, I could make you get off talk and topic. I'm really good at that. I'm, I'm okay. So I, I know how to segue. The thing here is like for me, it's just WNF. I'm always like having a good time here, so I'm always like in the chillest mood. <laughs> <laughs> but like, 
MSM, my mind just knows, like, all right, man, it's time to really calm it down. But here, I was like, oh, don't worry about it. Oh, he waited for the assist. Yeah, K9 looks like he was going for laser there, maybe hoping uh, Tatum Nader would dash back or something. Laser, man. This dude's got a band in the touch on the gun. That thing is a full blown blaster. Yeah, it's like a. It's more than that. It, it, it's it's like it's almost like a like the Gears of War, like the chainsaw on the end of it or something. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to really set a backup, but unfortunately for there, like I said, decent speed. And not only that, it's got a lasting hitbox, so he will get challenged. Can I barely picks the right turn to come back up the stage? Cross up from Tater and good opportunity for Ken just to go for dash tech. Simple yeah, hits. Boots him off stage. And oh, uh, yeah, close to the back air, but the forward air from Tater is gonna come out quicker. Yeah. I'm, I feel like sometimes K9 is too comfortable with the one option that he forgets to mix it up. That's the problem, is like he tries to go for back air, right, which is the obvious answer. But at that point, like Tater knows the first thing he's coming out here when I got a full edge back air. So if I have forward air sticking out, what can he do to challenge that? Because mine will last longer. It'll beat it out. Has it been in the past few times? Yeah, last game in particular, uh, or, or last set in particular, uh, K uh, Tater was throwing out a lot of forward air and just sort of controlling uh, the space and just catching uh, K9 snares and those kinds of things. Yeah. So I think K9 may be slipping a little back into uh, what lost him in the last set. Oh, gets the parry. No punish there, but he sees the fact that he got crossed up. Go for that back. Please save here. K9 looking to bring this up 1 1. Lose the finals. Forward air put this man off of the corner, but he doesn't get the entire combo. Tater escapes. Stop here. Getting shot by the the gun. Go for the grab release there. I don't maybe uh, he's just trying to get as many combos in as he could before he threw. It's possible that Tater like also like just smash buttons. You know? Oh, I mean it's true, that's how you get out of grabs. Uh, you press, yeah, you, you press you all the buttons. Not there. wrong about that. And uh, that's He's, Tater's kind of trapping. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. That down tilt is the ugliest looking down tilt ever. You're talking about the fork? Yeah, oh, the, no. The, the, the fork. No, the, uh, what was funny to me about the fork is kind of like how Tater was like kind of trapping K9 at the ledge, how how K9 would do it. Like, yeah. Just with the F tilts. I don't think it works as well for Bowser Jr., though. Uh, I like it. This time he changes it. Oh, good to Short throw, Very nice. There. He puts him off the stage. He knows that's a lot more important. He knows that Tater loves to cross him up from the ledge with back air. I don't think he's gone for that in all the games they play right now. So no, I'm really uh, good stuff on. Yes and no. The reason why I would say that it's there is because Kenan has fought Tater, like I mentioned, once so many times at this point. Like he's, I'm telling you, he's fought Elegant and Friends a dozen times, so he kind of knows like Tater's game plan at this point, so he's used to it. As Tanner doesn't know the canines, like he knows he wants to go for back air at the ledge, so yeah. he, especially on the jump recovery. So Tanner knows, oh, I'll just coming with forward air, and there's nothing that K9 can do. Uh, I was just surprised at uh, how ready K9 was to punish that, considering, like, I, I didn't see him go for the, uh, 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 Tater go for that once in the last set they, they played. Yeah, hold on for a second. Marma, three. So already we're like seeing kind game. of a repeat of the last set. I can't remember this who took the first game, but the opposite person took the second game the first time they played each other. Uh, so actually, I think it was a reversal. I think uh, I don't remember, but we're seeing a t tit for tat back and forth here. Uh, very exciting between these two players. They're always super. Uh, these games are usually pretty close. Right? Yeah, it does. I'm telling you, man. Somebody messed up the keg. Are you still on the... Yes. Don't make Vans drink hipster beers. I'm telling you, man. I'm more of a heaven wise kind of guy. I yeah, beers yeah. and nothing for the hipsters. What a bunch of flannel wearing jockeys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. They, they come to my city. They raise my rent. Then, every time I go to the bar, all they have is one beer selection of IPAs. That hurts, man. I'm just trying to drug like a pilsner. What happened to this country? Yeah, what happened to this country, man? What happened to the state? It used to be like, you know, I could walk down the street, you know, get a solid beer, get a good Hefeweizen, you know. <laughs> but nowadays, man, they're forcing me to get a 19th selection of IPAs. No, man. I'm, I'm a working white collar kind of guy, but I'm not drinking what the rest of the crowd is having. Anyways, let's go back yeah. <laughs> to this game. 
be some more Bowser Jr. Wolf action here. Yeah. Exciting, exciting stuff. Now, it's like can't find a car there. I. Tanernator, I feel like I've seen. Oh. oh, nice tech there. I feel like I've seen him go for the clown car less and less as I've seen him play over the last month or two. Okay, hold on. Yes and no. I feel like he's been going for it a lot more. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. I know the O smash is a really good punish, but Kanan is favoring it a lot, and at the, there are some opportunities here where Kanan could be killing Tater, but putting him off the stage. And at that point, right, like you know how Bowser Jr. is going to come back. You know how Tater likes to come back. If you can read that situation out, that'll definitely work a lot more in Kanan's favor. Or until he finally gets the kill, Tater rubs his hands on his pants. He knows he's got sweaty hands, and he knows all he's got to do here is take the next stock, and it won't be so sweaty anymore. Oh no, dude. That's our sweaty already. That's what the kids cool. That's cool kids say these days, man. Oh, why are you playing such a sweaty game? <laughs> oh, man. Well, what you, I was going did to you play with Aiden last night? He was playing such a sweaty lobbies on Fortnite. I've heard the chats, man. What I was going to say about the clown car is it mm -hmm. seems like a. a Tanner has been using it more intelligently. Like, he's trying to punish things specifically. He's trying to sneak under stuff and. Uh, oh, the platform. Uh. Get some kind of punish. Uh, in the, where in the past, it, you just seemed kind of throw it out, and most opponents didn't really know how to deal with it, or they yeah. just shield it and not realize they oh. can punish it. It touches from Kanan, gets the floor kill. Cool. With Wolf, you need to be really careful because that Nair can just beat it out. And that back air finally able to put its work into Tater. Put Tater right back at the ledge. I like the empty hop here. He's gonna go for a grab, but instead he opts for the floor kill, picks a better option to put him right back off the stage. No up smash. I like the fact that he just plays a little calm. Cannon finally adapting, but Tater's still looking to steal games here. Back end, that will do it. That, that just looks wrong to me. Uh, Tater got an up throw into a into an up air into a forward air, and it did 30 to 40 damage. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, crazy. I th one of the buffs they gave to this character is just the aerials do so much more damage. Wolf. No, I'm Smash won't do it. If it does put K9 off the stage and Kina tries to capitalize with K9 minor retreating towards the ledge to grabbing an electric ability. Nice dash good grab. Attack. He sees the cross-up on the dash attack and that feel I feel like Tater was going for. Oh yeah, Tater it's interesting that that move dash uh, crosses you up. Uh, you never really know what moves are going to go for it again. That couldn't have been intentional. Either. I feel like that was a good play though. He he hit the shield. Kanan's opposition there, most likely he would have let go of the shield. He would have never anticipated the dash attack. That was a little bit of a change up here, but Tater awesome. finally meets him up there with an up air. 112% to Kanan's precious stock. I know Tater has it in himself to go ahead and bring out this comeback. Forward air, put this man off the stage. Get the oh, wand of. So much damage here coming in from Tater Nader as he turns him across the stage. Oh, that air, hurt. That hurt, hurt me. That even hurt me. He was hitting Kanan with his new magic wand, and unfortunately, Kanan fell out. Comes back on the stage and punishes Tater for existing. He says, "No, man. I fell. I hit by. I've gotten hit by that one one too many times. There's no magic in that one. I'm not fooled." Speaking of Indiana Jones, best 80s. Do, best do 80s you ever feel like Wolf's, Wolf's smash attack is that scene in uh, Temple of Doom where the dude takes Kali out ha. the guy? Yeah. Kali Ma. <laughs> takes out the guy's heart. You know what's funny? <laughs> I have. For a very particular reason, I have not watched Temple of Doom in a long time. I, my parents wouldn't wa wa let me it's watch the it. They wouldn't one. let me watch that scene. There was a thing back in the day in the 80s, like Lucasfilm just had to do the second movie a bit darker. Like, if you think about it, the first one was very lighthearted, right? Up until the end, I guess. He was kind of <laughs> chasing Spielberg, though, right? Like, cause Spielberg made Jaws and, and uh, that. Uh, no, but see, like Jaws, ja the first movie of Jaws is already like a thing. Here, but I'm talking about second sequels, right? Because like The Empire Strikes Back, it's a darker movie, right? And you think about uh, Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom, that is a much darker movie altogether. But by the way, me being an aficionado of Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom is actually the first in the timeline of uh, Indiana Jones. Because it's Temple of Doom, then it would be uh, Indiana Jones uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then it's the Lost Crusade. When I remember I had this old VHS of like Kid Indiana Jones, like straight to VHS movies. It was so bad. Like, we lived in an era, dude. Back in the day, you'd watch like Aladdin three. Yeah. <laughs> 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 straight to VHS, like. 
Like Aladdin 7, Jafar needs glasses. You know what I've seen that's wild though is like these movies that are Kong's new groom. That are like fake movies or like meant to in intended to like confuse grandmas. So it'll be like a, you know what? A, a Lufsa, and it's like instead of Aladdin, it's like some Arab guy with like he's got like a kitchen pot instead of a lamp. I know the chat's really gonna be upset. They're not talking about the game, but the best part, if you're of age and you remember going to Blockbuster, the best, the worst thing that could ever happen to you was you'd go to the Blockbuster, you try to rent a movie like Pacific Rim, and you rented like the bootleg movie called Atlantic Rim, which was a B movie <laughs> in the same freaking yeah, aisle. Exactly. <laughs> like I remember there was the Mummy and. And then it was like the Lord's, what was it, the, the King's Tomb, and it was just the yeah. exact B the movie, movie. Yeah, the movie poster like looks the same. Yeah, so. you just tell it's a really big blatant ripoff. <laughs> Terrible CGI graphics, man. Some unpaid intern who like animated this movie. Yeah, and they made it. For but there like it is, man. On blockbuster selection. Budget. Yeah. Those are the days now where you can play the Blockbuster. <laughs> the the no. plethora of shovelware of movies you would see, man. Those were the days it's supposed to be like, oh, that was such a good time. You, I had a whole conversation with a friend about this, too, because I remember there was uh, Jack Frost, right, the, the movie. Yeah. But then there's Jack Frost, the horror movie. Yeah. And I just remember as a kid, like, is, is are they related? Like, you know, it's... <sighs> if you're of age, man, you, you'll remember going to Blockbuster. Or like a 2020 video or whatever. Renting the same copy of a video game and never return it because you always wanted to play it. <laughs> well, that was Melee, dude. I remember people renting Melee for ages. Oh, Melee. Such good times. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, dude. <laughs> This look, this looking like a B movie of Tater, but he tried to finally get a confirm there. Missed the opportunity. Ooh, that's 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 hard. He tells K9, man, the magic tricks are open 24/7, man. All you gotta do is fall into this. Why is he forward smashing? I feel like he's okay. I feel like he's given up. Yeah, I I feel like he's kind of given up here. And it's a little bit uncharacteristic, like he's kind of frustrated here. And I don't. Yeah. I, okay. So the reason why he might have been doing that, honestly, is. Kanan could have just walked in and dash attacked at any opportunity and it would be his fault for falling into it. Yeah. But also, like, I do sense a lot of frustration in T9 